Hello and welcome back again to my tutorial. Today we shall be concluding the class we started in our previous tutorial. That is the cutting and the making of six pieces bustier dress without a half cut. So let's just go to it and conclude it. All right. As you can see, I have lined the front panel of our gown, our six pieces gown. You can see it. This is the back panel. I've also inserted the zip, as you can see it. And then also, I lined the front. I joined the lining separately. And then I joined our material separately, as you can see. I did not sew them together. Each one, I joined them separately. Then I did a normal lining, as you can see. Now is to join our gown together. Join the front and the back panel together. And here we go. So I'm going to join the shoulder first of all, like this. This is our front panel. This is the back. You can see it's material, facing material, and lining, facing lining. And I bend it over like this. And then I will take my half inch, sew it down. All right, now, so we start our body measurement. Our bust measurement is 37. Divided into two will give us 18 and half. And a half. Our waist measurement is 32 divided into 2 will give us 16. And then our hip measurement is 42 divided into 2 will give us 21. So I will now proceed to pin them down, after which I will sew. As you can see, I have pinned them together. So I am now going to my machine to sew it, using this actual body measurement that I pinned together. Alright, as it is now, I have joined both the front and the back together. So the next thing now is to cut the sleeve and the sleeve is going to be a circular sleeve. So now I want to cut the circle sleeve. I fold my fabric into two and then I fold it again, making it four. The radius is 2.9 because the circumference of my armhole is 18. I had to measure the circumference of that armhole and it gave me 18. So I divided the 18 by 6.28. It gave me 2.9. So that is my radius. So from this point, from this point, I have to measure 2.9. Now, for the length of my peplum, I want it to be 7, so I have to check whether it is enough. Of course, it is. I'm measuring 7 and half. Then something. I don't want the front of my circle sleeve and the lower part of it to be of the same measurement. I hope you are understanding me. So, for this extra material I left here. You can see where the folding stops. For this extra material, I'm going to increase it a little bit because I don't want both the upper part of the circle sleeve and the one under the armpit to be of the same level. I don't want it coming out. So I have to add, make it a round number of 10. All right. 
first i'm going to cut this one all right then i'm going to spread it out this is the actual measurement i'm cutting it now come towards this side also and take it like this. as you can see this side is longer than this side you can see that and that is exactly how i want it to be you can see it so this is going to be on my shoulder while this shorter side will be under my armpit so i'm going to go ahead cut the second sleeve line it and attach it all right i have lined the sleeve as you can see and i notched the point where it's supposed to sit on top of the shoulder remember this is the longest longer part the one down is shorter so i'm now going to proceed to insert my sleeve this is where the notch is as you can see it is going to sit right on top of the shoulder okay now this is the shoulder i place it like this can you see it and i sew it round i will do the same thing on the other sleeve just like this now i have successfully fixed the circle sleeve as you can see it i've also given it a very good press you can see how beautiful it is I'm still begging you if you are here to subscribe please hit on that red icon and subscribe and also like and share our videos till we meet again in my next class i love you from the bottom of my heart and please take very good care of yourself bye